YouTube Nation. It's your boy Black. Uh, this is our week 10 fantasy thing. Uh, you know, we're doing every different. Uh, Y'all should be excited because I changed it up. So we're going to have, I might put some music in. I don't know right now. You, you'll see when you watch the video. But I got an intro slide. I got an outro slide. This thing is going to be nice. This thing is nice. Finally going to step up our game instead of flat out you know, boring YouTube videos. All right. So we're going to tell you about week nine. This is who we told you to start, who we told you to sit. Uh, black, once again, is, or not black, blacker. No, he is black. <laughs> These names are so confusing. Anyways, blacker, once again, uh, or no, black. Dang, I'm doing it. <laughs> black, uh, he's kind of busy, you know, school. He's applying to colleges. He, he has other stuff on his mind. I was like, good, don't even worry about it. I can keep, take care of this, so I'm taking care of this. Uh, so last week, I told you to start Matt Forte. Um, Matt Forte got you 133 yards. However, he didn't score in an ESPN standard leagues that was only 10 points. So, I mean, I kind of expected him to score. Marion Bar Barber vultured a touchdown from him on the goal, goal line. What are you going to do there? I told you to start Victor Cruz or any Giants player. I'm just going to pick on Victor Cruz because he's the first name I picked up on. Uh, Victor Cruz got you 9 points. He was targeted 11 times. Got 9 catches for 91 yards. Victor Cruz is a guy you want to consistently start every week. Uh, I told you Darren Sproles should be started in PPR leagues. In a standard league, Darren Sproles got you 15 points, which is a very good game. In a PPR league, he got you 21 points. You better not be complaining because Darren Sproles did work. All right. Um, I also told you Fred Jackson. To start Fred Jackson, uh, yeah, he only got you 9 points, so don't listen to that. <laughs> Fred Jackson, he, uh, he had 18 carries, 82 yards, three receptions, 38 yards. So he didn't have a bad game, just didn't get in that end zone. <clears throat> All right, I told you to start or bench Joe Flacco because it was a night game versus Pittsburgh. Uh, Joe Flacco got you 14 points, which was what I expected from him, but it was actually a very good game by him. But if you benched Flacco for 14 points and you had a guy who scored 17, which is a decent game for QBs, it's not that bad. Flacco didn't have that great of a fantasy game. And I told you to bench Daniel Thomas because after the injury to Bush, uh, after the injury to himself, he's going to be losing carries to Bush. He had seven carries for 12 yards. For some reason, I decided I listened to I wouldn't listen to myself when they said, oh, Daniel Thomas is active and he'll be getting carries again. I was like, oh, well, let me put Thomas in. Yeah, lost a couple fantasy games because of that. Uh, all right, so here's your week 10 start and sit. In week 10, I'm telling you to start Laurent Robinson at the Cowboys versus the Bills. Miles Austin is injured. Laurent Robinson is the next option after Des Bryant. Laurent Robinson has had a couple good games. Expect the, the Bills in their weak secondary to be exposed. Another person I'm telling you to start is Jeremy Macklin versus the Cardinals. Okay, Jeremy Macklin is the Eagles' number one target. As unclutch as he is in late-game situations, as an not even as an Eagles fan, as a football fan, I can't see the Eagles losing to the Cardinals. If the Eagles lose to the Cardinals, I, I might just stop watching football. I'll stop making these videos. There's not a reason on earth the Eagles lose to the Cardinals, except if they beat themselves. Start Jeremy Macklin. He should get a touchdown, probably two. This is what I'm thinking should be a romp by the Eagles, who are more talented than the record says. And I say start Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh versus the Cowboys. They're the ninth-ranked pasties. You think, why would I start Ryan Fitzpatrick versus the ninth-ranked pasty? Well, the uh, Cowboys have faced the teams of St. Louis, Seattle, um, wow, I cannot remember. St. Louis, Seattle, and San Francisco. They faced the NFC West, and there was one other, oh, and the Jets with Mark Sanchez before they started passing more with Sanchez. So they haven't faced any real QBs other than Brady and Vic. In the two games they faced Brady and Vic, average of 20 points was put up. I'm telling you right now, start Ryan Fitzpatrick versus the Cowboys defense. He should have a very good game, even if they lose. All right, now I'm about to tell you something that you guys might freak out at me. Two crazy sits, and the first one, I want you to listen very carefully. No, the first one is Michael Turner versus the 14th-ranked Saints runs D. I expect, I expect the Saints to jump out early on the Falcons eliminating the run game from the equation. And the Saints aren't that bad versus the run. I don't think Turner will be much of an uh, impact. I think Atlanta might pass it more with uh, Roddy White and the rise of Julio Jones. Now, here's the craziest one, and you guys are going to lose your mind when I tell you to sit this guy. 
sit this man right here. Sit Tom Brady. Why? And listen carefully. He faces the Jets for pass defense, which is number ranked number one. And I'm not telling you to sit Tom Brady if your backup QB is Blaine Gabbert. If you're Blaine Gabbert, your backup QB, by all means, start Tom Brady. But I'm saying if you have a better backup QB or one with a better matchup, then start him. Or then start the backup. I, in one of my leagues, have Tom Brady. And on the bench, I have Cam Newton versus Tennessee. I was like, yeah, I'm starting Cam. It's that simple. I've benched Brady for Newton three times throughout this season, and every time it has not come to bite me in my butt. <laughs> if you have a better option behind Brady, bench him this week. All right, uh, that's all I got. This is, uh, you know, black and blacker. Uh, I made a video about the Penn State thing. It was about a good seven-minute long video. And then I realized that the sound thing on here wasn't set right, so it was just me moving my mouth. You couldn't hear what I was saying. So I deleted that. I might come back and make another one. I don't know. You never. You, that, it, nothing's as good as the first one. But um, that's what I got for y'all. I'm out.